Hey guys, it's Anthony, and I want to have a very serious discussion with you about Wind Waker HD, because the original Wind Waker might just be my favorite Zelda game of all time, and Wind Waker HD might just be the greatest HD upgrade of any game of all time. Okay, I know, hyperbole everywhere, but hear me out on this. Wind Waker has some of the most beautiful visual design of any game ever. If you still look at the GameCube version now, I mean, we'll put them up side by side. Obviously, the HD one looks better, but the GameCube one holds up so well because it has that Toei early 60s animation-inspired art direction that just ages beautifully, and that's why it works so well in HD, too. So first of all, let's talk about the HD conversion. Let's talk about the visuals. Those early screenshots came out, those early trailers came out, and it looks like maybe they cranked up the lighting effects too much. Like maybe they got a little aggro with the bloom. But if you look at the final game in motion, yes, the lighting can be a little cranked up at times, but overall, I think it really, really adds to the look. The other thing that the HD helps us get rid of is in the original GameCube version, all the particles and all those smoke effects, those swirly smoke effects that we love so much in Wind Waker, kind of added this graininess and this pixelation to the visuals that they don't do now. Now the particles just look smooth and the fog looks beautiful. All the effects look really, really amazing. And the other great thing about this 60s flat cell shaded animation style is when you scale up those textures to HD, like you do with all these other HD remakes we see lately, they don't show signs of aging. They don't look like they're smeared upscaled messes. Because they were so simple and clean to begin with, they look really, really good in HD. And I will say that a lot of these textures aren't just scaled up. A lot of stuff in the game has been totally redrawn. There has been a care and an attention to detail with the visuals in Wind Waker that you don't see in your average HD upscaling. Uh, little things even. Like if you look at the Mokoblins or, or the Moblins as they're walking around in the dark, all the monsters have these glowing eyes and there are these extra little light sources that have been added to everything. All these little details that really enhance that smooth kind of cinematic animation that it had going on to begin with. I think the game looks absolutely beautiful. There are a few times when that overzealous lighting can ruin the illusion of the 2D cell shading and make you go, oh wait, these are 3D models, but it happens very rarely and it doesn't happen to the extent that it would throw you off. Uh, the other thing that was upgraded is the soundtrack. Oh my gosh. So Wind Waker has some of my favorite video game music of all time, but if you go back and you listen to the GameCube version, there's a definite MIDI sort of synth sound to everything. They haven't completely reorchestrated everything, but everything has been remastered, and it does sound like some live instruments have been subbed in for some of the digital ones before. When you go to Dragon Roost Island and you hear that mandolin now, oh my God, sounds so, so amazing. The other thing that was touched were the controls. So the Pro Controller probably feels a little better, but the stuff that they've added for the gamepad makes a Zelda game so much more enjoyable to play. All of your menus are just right there. If you need to change out your inventory, it's just tap, drag, it's done. Your maps are up on your screen. You never have to go back and forth between a dungeon map or back and forth between a sea chart when you're sailing. And it just speeds the whole thing along and makes everything feel a lot less monotonous. I will say that if you're looking for some really intense gamepad updates, right? Like if you're looking to kind of hold up your Pictobox and see what your Pictobox sees on your gamepad screen, you're not gonna get that. You can use gyroscopic control to control things like the telescope and the camera. You can use the right stick as well, which I really appreciate. Um, the only thing I found myself using gyroscope for was when I was targeting with my boomerang. It's kind of nice to just hit Y and swipe and get everything at once. Uh, but other than that, I was just sticking to the right stick. The camera controls also much, much improved. You might remember that in the original GameCube game, you kind of had these cardinal directions on the right stick and the left right was inverted. I cannot deal with that on my cameras. I cannot deal with that. I loved 
the sailing. I thought it was amazing, and I know a lot of people didn't. Now, you can upgrade the sail on your ship, and all of a sudden, sailing is two times faster. So if you did not like that, if that got monotonous to you, if you don't like going across the entire grid from one destination to another, because, I don't know, maybe you don't like swimming in between barrels and getting rupees as much as I do. That's cool, now you can do it in half the time. Another change to gameplay, which is really great, is hero mode. So let's say that you have played Wind Waker multiple times before. Let's say you've played it recently. Hero mode makes every enemy give double the damage they normally would, and nobody drops hearts. So you go through and you really have to be on your game. And I gotta say, the combat in Wind Waker, like if you go back and you look at Ocarina and you look at Majora's Mask, Wind Waker is where they really really nailed this combat with the parry system and just the different types of slices and the different types of strikes. I love the combat in Wind Waker and now you can kind of up your game a little bit more. Some other things that have been changed, you know, uh, talking about that, that gamepad integration, uh, there is no tingle tuner in Wind Waker HD which is fine. I mean, I like the tingle tuner and I think it makes a lot of sense to put it on the gamepad. I liked finding all the little tingle statues. Um, it has been replaced with the tingle bottle, which I'm pretty okay with because it's actually kind of a cooler idea. So as you're running around with your picta box and you're taking your selfies of you with Moblins or Octorox or whatever, um, you can save those pictures, put them in your tingle bottle, and send them into the Miiverse. You can send pictures to friends, you can send pictures to strangers, you can receive pictures from people. So it's kind of a neat change. And it's, you know, once again, that's a little bit of attention to detail that shows that this is more than just a straight HD upgrade. You know, I gotta say, Wind Waker has a very, very special place in my heart. And I know that, that is not true for a lot of people, but I think if you look at the game now within the context of the rest of the Zelda series, if you look at it compared to Ocarina and to Majora's Mask and how they had to work within the limitations of that N64, and if you look at Skyward Sword and you look at Twilight Princess now and you see how we're kind of just being led by the nose and given a lot of tutorials, Wind Waker is really just an amazingly beautiful Zelda game and I think gets so, so much right that a lot of the other entries in the series haven't. So if you have not played Wind Waker, or if you played it before and you're wondering whether it's worth shelling out the 50 bucks for the upgrade to play it, I think it absolutely is. I think it still stands up as the best modern Zelda game. And I think it, you know, while it may not be a system seller the way Nintendo is planning for it to be, it is definitely an incredibly strong Wii U game and something you absolutely have to play. Go pick it up, check it out. Let me know what you think about it, honestly. I know not everybody shares the same lofty opinion of Wind Waker that I do. It just kind of speaks to a bunch of different things that I love, you know, like the sailing and the animated look and the exploration. Uh, let me know how you feel about Wind Waker down below. Let me know what your favorite Zelda is. I would love to know. You're not allowed to say the CDI games, even in jest. You're not allowed to do that to me.